Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars. How are you? Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Well, this week the sun is in the dreamy sign of Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Pisces, little mermaids and dolphins of the zodiac. We love you. You are the Einsteins, the Mother Teresa's of the zodiac, and we love you because of your big heart and your genius. The moon this week will travel in the signs of Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. And on Tuesday, we have uh, some kind of worrying, kind of beautiful full moon in nitty gritty Virgo, opposing the sun in Pisces, making us a bit with a tendency to worry. You want to worry? Well, make it positive. See everything with the glass full mentality, not the half glass empty, all right? And your song this week, everybody, and for me and you, don't worry, be happy, don't worry, be happy. Yes, because worry is simply a misuse of imagination, which is the juice of God, by the way. Sunday, the sun in Pisces will meet up with one of its ruler, dreamy Neptune, doubling the Pisces creative energies like the arts, music, healing, poetry, intuition, and spirituality. So if you're a healer, you're in the spiritual world, a counselor, an astrologer, a psychic, if you're an artist, you will do amazing work this week. And if you're a painter or a you do sculpturing, wow, you could create a masterpiece. A good time also to really dream big, dream impossible, infinite possibilities. But do keep your feet firm in the ground. See things the way they are. And also, this week is a good time to face our fears. Try something this week. Once a day, do one thing you're scared of. You're gonna see, after seven days, it could change your whole paradigm. A good time also to meditate, to heal, for spiritual seminars, for embarking in a new healthy lifestyle, to lose weight or heal some addictions that you've had for a long time. Finally, this week, you could really get a good start at that and really get rid of it once and for all and be free. Free for yourself and the people you love. Libra. The full moon in your spiritual sector brings more peace of mind, especially in family matters, relationships, things with children. You may need to use the law to fight some cases, but at the end of the day, if you follow your heart and you protect the people you love, you will succeed greatly. In career, what you felt lately, like what you psychically felt, will turn out to be right on the money. Hey, you are psychic this week. Some people could also push your buttons a little bit, so be patient and very understanding. Work with people, don't go against them, because if you do that, it will be a happy ending for everyone, including you. On the weekend, enjoy a good book, a good movie, go out to a spa, or enjoy some wine and food. I mean, just for yourself. Gemini's, Cancer's, and Sagittarius really care. Your magical color is white, lucky numbers two and 28. Here's your wizard affirmation of this fabulous week. Well, it's like, don't worry, be happy. Look at the glass, half full. Treat yourself the way you want other people to treat you. Hmm, that's a good one. Love, honor, forgive yourself, and you will be loved, honored, and respected by others. That's simple. Love you and kiss you. Don't worry. Be happy.